Hi, my name is Sheila Privet, and I'm from the Andover Public Library, and I'm here to talk to you about snack and children's programming for the 2021 Summer Reading Program of Tales and Tales. I don't want to take up too much time um, with an intro. I want to get right to it, so let me get my program up and ready for you. Oh, didn't let me do it. Here we go. Let's try it again. Maybe not. There we go. Okay, it's Snack Fun with Foods, Tales and Tales by Sheila Privet. Let's go ahead and get right into it and tell you a little bit about me. I started with the Andover Public Library in 2018, working with adults, and then right afterwards, I started with teens and children. Having two adult children of my own, um, I find that this is such a blast from the past and I'm having such a great time with it. I'm not going to go into this slide because I want to keep this presentation fairly quick. So I'm going to leave this to you to read on your own if you want to know a little bit more about me and why I love what I do. So we're going to go ahead and talk a lot about these great three programs I have presented uh, for you and the first of which is the Marvelous Marshmallow Menagerie. We're going to show you how to make um, marshmallow elephants, hippos, pigs, and bears. Then we're going to go into our slithery, scrumptious snakes and our sensational, sensational celery creations. These are fantastic and fun ways that you can present healthy, well, semi-healthy snacks to children um, in a program format that can just be so much fun. You know, as a parent and a program coordinator at the library, I find that um, children are told so often, don't play with your food. And to be educational, I say, let's play and have fun. So here's our marvelous marshmallow menagerie. And as librarians, we know that menagerie means a group of wild animals. These may not be quite as wild as they used to be, but they are definitely a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and move on to the next slide, which is uh, the supplies you're gonna need for this, which are jumbo marshmallows. And those are the really, really big ones, our regular large marshmallows, which are the, the regular size marshmallows that you can get in the bag and find just about anywhere. The small marshmallows are the traditional size marshmallows that you would find for hot chocolate, not the mini, mini ones, because those just won't work. Pretzel sticks you can find anywhere, uh, any kind will do. You can have them salted, unsalted, twisted, or just regular, it doesn't matter. All of them work. Candy eyes, we found these at Walmart. They run about $2.50 to $3, and you get, oh, I'd say 160 to 180. And with being, you know, two, uh, two per animal, you're gonna get 90 to 100 animals out of this. You're gonna wanna use some white frosting or icing, any kind will do. Don't worry about spending too much money, and usually one tub will do a whole lot because you're only using a couple of dabs. Uh, and scrap of white paper, you're only going to use this on the elephant. So if you're talking about, you know, two dozen kids, one eight and a half by 11 sheet will be more than enough. So I'm going to run through these really, really fast. Um, these supplies will do all your animals. This is the only thing you're going to need for any of the animals that I'm going to show you today. The first one we're going to look at is the elephant. Here is the list of supplies you're going to need. Um, again, this is for one elephant, not for a whole host of them. So it's really, really simple. I'm just going to go ahead and bypass all these supplies and go right into the instructions, which right here is, you know, very, very simple. I'm not going to read through them because I want to talk about the hippo. He's a little more complex. So I'm going to go ahead and show you these and I will have all these handouts available for you through Melissa or myself. All my information will be on uh, in a few more slides. Um, here they are in pictures. So you know what? I did a really good service for you. So if you're not a reader or your kids aren't readers, don't worry. I do have them in pictures for you. So you know, our elephant's going to be really simple. The one thing you're going to have to remember is that you know, pretzels break and kids like to eat them, so sometimes you want to have a little extra on hand. All right, so here we have it in pictures. Oh, there you heard my cat in the background, and that's going to happen. Uh, here's our hippo. He's a little more complex. He's probably the most complex of all our animals, but it's just because of his teeth and his snout. 
So he's going to be one jumbo marshmallow, two large marshmallows, four small marshmallows, five to six pretzels, the candy eyes, and two dabs of frosting. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this one because it's a little more complicated than most. Um, the feet, you're going to take two pretzels and break them in half. You're going to press them into the feet. You don't want to go all the way through. Um, or your feet will have, let's say, urns. No, they'll be fine. Um, push, push them through onto the feet, onto our small marshmallows. And then you're going to press those into the jumbo marshmallow. Now he's going to have feet. Here comes the more difficult part. You're going to take the two large marshmallows, not the jumbo, but the large, and you're going to smush them a little bit. So you're going to flatten them just so the snout doesn't look quite so full. Um, and then you're going to take a pretzel and you're going to break it into some smaller pieces and you're going to put them into the mouth like right here so that they have teeth and then you're going to line up the marshmallows and the teeth so that they look like a mouth. You're going to add a pretzel to each end of the smushed flattened marshmallow and you're going to push that right into the end of the jumbo marshmallow so that you now have a snout. So that's probably the most complicated part of this um, hippo. And then you're going to put two dabs of icing on for the eyes and place your candy eyes. So that's probably the most complicated part of this um, animal. But if Excuse me, if you didn't get that from what I said, because yes, it was very, very quick. You do have some written instructions here. And of course, our next page is how to in pictures. Everything I've said is right here in the pictures and on the written instructions. So don't fret. Yes, yes, Sheila talks really, really fast and that's okay. Um, and again, these instructions, um, Melissa Latanzi does have. So you can always say, hey, send me the hippo, send me the elephant, and then send me the pig because, you know, we got to have barnyard animals. Now, my pig is, they are just such adorable. And you know what? They're tasty too. Um, they're really simple to make. The kids love them. My kids love them and they're adults. So we have the pig. We have it in instructions. We have written instructions. We'll always have written instructions for you. And then we have them in um, picture form. See what happens here if you push them through. You just have a dimple at the end and that's what happened with my pig. Here I'll show you my pig here real quick in the picture. Uh, oh there we are. I'm up here in the corner. I have one pig with a long leg and one pig with a short leg. Here's my short legged pig and here's my long leg pig. I hope you can see that. If not maybe at the end of this uh, video I can show you them. But um, it doesn't matter. They don't have to be perfect. We don't want people to have to to, to work towards perfection. We want them to be themselves. We want them to know it's okay to be different. It's okay to not have to be perfect. Um, here's our bear. They are just adorable. Um, please remember, you know what, we're using white icing because I think it would look kind of funny if we had a white bear with brown frosting eyes. But you know what, to each their own. Again, we're not looking for perfection. So this is our bear. Here's his supply list. You'll always get a supply list with what you need. And he's got lots of instructions. Don't let that uh, deter you from creating them. It is pretty much repetitious from one to the, the next. It's just I wanted to break them down to make it fairly simple for you and for your children to do. Again, here it is, the bear, how to in pictures. And there we go. That is the first program we have. Uh, questions or comments for the Marvelous Marshmallow Menagerie, don't hesitate to contact me. Again, my name is Sheila Privet, Program Coordinator at the Andover Library. My email address, Sheila.Privet at AndoverLibraryOhio.org. Yes, that's a mouthful, but you know what? I got it out. You can always call me at 440-293-6792. But that's not all. We're not done. We're going to go ahead and go on to our second and quick, easy program, and that's our Slithery Scrumptious Snakes. Now, um, this is a really simple, 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 easy um, program that any child can do. And we're going to go over these really fast. The complete supply list right here, you have wooden skewers. Now, this is something that um, wouldn't hurt to have a parent with you. Um, grape, strawberry, banana, candy eyes. Again, we use those because, you know, we want to have a little bit of sugar for the kids and cream cheese. 
Um, so you want to watch and make sure there's no allergies to any kind of dairy product there. Our first is the grape snake, and I have that right here in my hands. Oh, I just lost his head. That's okay, I lost its eyes earlier. So I've made these. Well, should I say my daughter made some of these? Here we go. Where's his head? There's, oh, I got his head upside down. I'm sorry, look at that. There he is. He's so cute. They are so wonderful. We get to eat all these as soon as I'm done. So one skewer, one strawberry, eight to 10 grapes, depending on how big your grapes are, two candy eyes and two dabs of cream cheese. Really easy. I'm going to go ahead and flip this through right now. And you know what? You're just going to go ahead and skewer all those grapes, leave enough room for the strawberry and two dabs of cream cheese and a couple of eyes. You know what? The kids will love it. It'll be great for hand dexterity. And you know what? It's a healthy, fun snack. So on to the next. Of course, you've got how to in pictures. So there we are. And you know what? All I had was flavored cream cheese. So you know what? That's what we used. If you want to buy the, the Philadelphia brand or not, you know what? Use what you have. Um, it doesn't matter. We used what we had on hand here in my kitchen. So the next one is the striped snake. And of course, that's the skewer. We used a banana, five or six strawberries, two candy eyes, and of course, two grab, uh, dabs of cream cheese. So again, we're just gonna peel the banana. Don't forget to wash your strawberries. You know, we sliced five strawberries. We reserved one for the head. Again, all we did was cut them into about a quarter inch piece, and then we alternated strawberry and bananas. You know, we, we placed it on the skewer. It's a great thing. We used a plastic knife so the little kids could do it. It's great for hand-eye coordination. It's great for dexterity. So they are getting something out of it. And they're thinking, oh, I'm having so much fun. They don't think that this is a healthy snack. So um, the only thing they're getting sugar-wise on this is the natural sugars and the sugar from the eyes and the cream cheese. So again, here we have it in pictures. So again, we do have these handouts for you. Uh, any questions or comments, don't hesitate to drop me a line at sheila.privet at andoverlibraryohio.org or call and ask me at 440-293-6792. So, the Sensational Celery Creations. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying we did use peanut butter here in our home when I created this, and we also used cream cheese. So, I don't know what your policy is at your libraries regarding peanut butter, but we wanted to give an option. You can use peanut butter and we also use cream cheese so that um, we gave that de delineation. You know, we know that not a lot of people can use peanut butter due to allergies. So here we go. The first one we have is your supply list. We have celery, peanut butter, or cream cheese, apples, blueberries, grapes, strawberries, candy eyes. Now you can use any piece of fruit for this, um, but this is what we had in the house. Okay, so this is our caterpillar, uh, celery caterpillars, excuse me, and it's celery, cream cheese, and peanut butter. This one happens to be peanut butter. Oh, nope, this one is celery, uh, cream cheese. This one is peanut butter, grapes, strawberries, and blueberries. Uh, we used our candy eyes on, on these. So what you're going to do, you can see much better from here on this angle. You just cut your celery. It's just like ants on a log um, that we did when, when we have little, little ones, and you just fill your celery and then you line up your, your fruits. Add a little peanut butter or a little cream cheese and you put on your eyes. So this is a great little thing. The kids can do this. Give them a spoon, let them, let them put it on there. And you know what? They don't realize that this is a really healthy snack and it's fun and it's fruit and you should have them all the time. So our next and final Nope, not final, but second to last is our butterflies. Again, this is made with celery, the peanut butter, apples, grapes, strawberry, and candy eyes. And you know what? All we did here is cut our an apple slice about a quarter of an inch thick. We cut it in half. We laid it inside the filled celery stick and just had them slightly laying out to make them look like wings. We added, this is a strawberry right here. Um, and a couple of eyes. So our last and final is our snail. Again, same supply list. Nothing has changed, but this time, this one happened to be a whole apple slice. This one is a half an apple slice. Again, cream cheese, peanut butter. Um, again, the written instructions. He's a little messy, because you know what? Look at him, he had been going through the grass. No, it's just shredded paper. Don't get freaked out. It's a lot of fun. We had a great time. I have one of these right here to show you. Here he is. I'll turn him down. Aren't they great? 
Um, I do have a butterfly right here. See, I, I don't know if I'm getting you. There you go. Our butterfly, our caterpillar. My daughter is loving this. She's